hey guys welcome to the second part of the tutorial so today we'll be moving on to figma if you didn't watch my first video make sure you do to follow along before we get started remember the donor images for exported from blender we'll be removing the white background for our designs to do so head to the website called removepg.com click on upload and add your image i already have mine saved on a folder called transparent so i would skip that when you're done with yours, we can head back to Figma and finally get started. So this is our design system. I got all of these icons from Iconly Pro. Really amazing icons they got here. I'll be adding the link in the description if you want to use the same as mine. I added the colors we'll be using as well. So I'll start off by creating a frame and I'll be using the iPhone 11 screen size. So I'll be calling this frame home and to get a bell way of laying out your designs, we'll be using a layout grid of columns count four, margin 24 and gutter 16. So I'll be adding our menu to the top left of the screen. Click Alt and D on your keyboard to duplicate it. We'll also be adding this little guy as well. To make it look more nicer, I'll add a rectangle behind it. Right click on the rectangle and send to the back. Bring it down a bit. Let's keep this our primary color, which is the pink. I'll also add the radius to it. Select everything and group it by clicking Ctrl G. So I'll click on both of them to center it vertically. To do that, go to the panel on the right and click on this button. So now we'll be adding our address to the middle. Duplicate this icon and give it our primary color. Add a random address beside it i'm using gilroy font for this project just because i don't know i really love it i'll use medium and give it a size of 15. so I'll select both of them and group them then we'll select everything and add an auto layout by clicking shift a on our keyboard go to the panel on the right and we'll select this button and change the alignment to the center so now we're done with our nav menu so i'll be adding our text now that says let's eat some donuts make it bold and give it a size of 28 i'll stretch it a bit and i want it to be around somewhere here so for the search bar i'll be doing that now just watch and follow along with me
so now this is done we'll be creating our categories so it will have four buttons that says donut burger pizza and hot dog So now we'll be creating our cat. I want you guys to pay attention to this part. I'll start by bringing those transparent images we downloaded. Uh, I'll select the chocolate donut. Resize these by holding Alt. If you get stuck, you can just type in the values. I'll give this a width of 214 and a height of 106. Oops, I forgot I didn't bring in the hat icon. I'll duplicate that and I'll give it a width and height of 15. Add a circle behind it and give it a width and height of 32. We'll give this a gray color and send it to the back. Hold both of them and group them and i will send these um to the front of the donut so next thing i'll add a text that says maybe chocolate ice donut i'll center this text and make it medium and give it a size of 13. then i'll be creating the price as well we'll add a dollar sign and give it a primary color Duplicate it and set the figures and give it the color of black. Change the size to 28 and we'll select both of them and group them. So now select the donut image and hat icon and group them together. Then select all three and click Shift A on your keyboard. We just added the auto layout. Now go to alignment and center it. Set the spacing to 10. Now I'll create a rectangle and give this a width of 174 and a height of 208. Set the radius to 35 and give it the color of white. So if you notice, I'm trying to add a rectangle behind this, but it automatically wants to drop inside the frame. That's the annoying thing about auto layout. To avoid this, select the rectangle and move it while holding down space on your keyboard and drop it here. Look to the left panel and drag the rectangle behind this frame. Lastly, we'll be adding this icon. Add a circle behind it and give it a width and height of 50. Send it to the front and center it. Give it our primary color and add the icon on top of it. Select both and group them. Give the icon a color of white as well. So I'll select everything and right click and click on frame selection. Now we're done with our card. We can add it inside the frame. To add the rest of the images, click the image, go to the right panel and click on image. Choose image and select the pink donut. So you can change the name to something of your choice. So that's it for the donuts and I'll be adding the rest now.
so i'll be leaving the space blank for now because we'll be using a loti file here just so you know thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one bye